All right, so I was talking to some people the other day on my stream about YouTube searches. YouTube searches, a lot of times, are configured in such a way, they have such an algorithm, to bring up news stations and preferred channels over others, which is really annoying. This is what one of the people said in my stream. Um, I like YouTube when you typed a search and random people's videos came up. Now it's just ABC, MSNBC, CNN, Fox, etc. I agree, it's kind of annoying. And uh, a little bit later they said, uh, <clears throat> I found another way to do it, but it's annoying. I think he was talking about blocking them. This guy Cloudscape says, I would give my right nut not to have news mainstream news come up when I look for something. There's a lot of people that feel this way. And, you know, I'm not an enemy of the news. I, you know, do read it occasionally. But it is pretty annoying when you're looking for something specific, raw video, for instance, and up comes this censored you know news this is youtube i want uncensored information but news organizations even on the internet tend to censor themselves so i don't always want to hear their side so um i'm going to give you some examples pretty simple to use you can use them anywhere you can use them on any device to get rid of these but then i'm going to show you some more advanced ways uh for filtering and clearing out crap you don't want to see on the internet and youtube in particular so um the first thing I would recommend is you get Firefox rather than Brave, rather than um, Chrome, shit like that. In fact, Brave just the other day started putting ads in their own browser, which is a violation of the whole point of Brave. <laughs> so that's uh, that's a whole other story. But yeah, Firefox, just this is pure Firefox. I have no add-ons. It's a freshly installed Firefox. So if I go to um, YouTube.com. Oh God, I don't want to see ads. Oh God, it's ugly. I'm just going to search George Floyd just for the hell of it. And sure enough, you know what's going to happen as well as I do. It's going to be MSNBC, news, shit I don't want to see. So let's say we want to get rid of the second one, NBC News. All you have to do in the chat or in the um, search bar up here, hit the hyphen, hyphen NBC and hit enter. Look at that. Oh, I guess it hyphen news. Okay, there it is. I just hit hyphen NBC and hyphen news. That takes it away. That's what hyphen means. How about inside edition? Let's say we want to get rid of two words instead of one. You would do hyphen quotation mark inside edition quotation mark. So it takes it entirely. You have to put the hyphen in the front of the uh, quotation mark. And that should get rid of it. There it's gone. How about we want to get rid of this Candace Owens? We can either subtract, use a subtract or hyphen or minus, whatever you want to call it. We can use the hyphen to get rid of any word in the... It gets rid of any word either in the title or the channel name or whatever. So be careful. You don't want to take too much away, right? So we could take away lying. And that won't come up. That just disappeared. Um, we could take away Malloy for Travis Malloy down here. And, but look at how much work it takes if you want to really get rid of all of them. Um, it takes a lot of work. How about uh, C-SPAN because there's another hyphen in there. You know, it, you got to do this each time. Well, you could do that each time because this works on a cell phone, this works on a tablet, this works on anywhere with a search bar. It even works on google.com and duckduckgo.com. It's kind of always existed in search engines, using that hyphen to get rid of stuff. Well, that's a nice, quick way to do it. However, it becomes cumbersome as you want to clear more of it out. There is a faster way to do it, though. And I have a list of notes here. Now, don't get overwhelmed here. This ain't going to be too long of a video. But let's start out with an add-on called BlockTube. So I'm just going to go to Google.com or use your search bar and just type in BlockTube add-on Firefox. Block to B L O C K T U B E, and here's the add-on right here. It's on addons.mozilla.org. We're gonna go there, and we're going to hit Add to Firefox, and we're gonna add, and then I'm just gonna hit Allow extension to be run in private Windows. You can have that on or off. Okay, now it's gonna be a little different. I'm just gonna refresh uh, YouTube here now. There's a little button that you now have on the right side when you hit those little three dots. You'll have a new button. I'm not sure if this works on a self on the Firefox version on Android or iOS, I don't know. 
but it does work on the PC. So now you can just block the channel like that. See this? Block. I want to get rid of Carlson School of Management. Block channel. So you can, I can hit refresh now and those won't show up. Same thing with this House of Highlights channel. We can get rid of this. We can get rid of OWN. And that's a, that's a permanent block with that add-on. And now here's the add-on. It shows up in the upper right of the browser. And we can go through and look at all the blocks we've done right here. Here's some of the blocks we've done already. We can remove them anytime, but that's a good way to block the channel entirely. That again is called BlockTube. So it's a pretty fast way to do it. But even more blocking, let's say you want to get even more blocking done. The most important add-on you could ever install for a browser is called uBlock Origin. You go to Google, uBlock Origin Firefox. It is the best add-on you can get because it protects you from malware, protects you from ads, protects you from uh, sending personal information out to these businesses and governments. Um, and there's all sorts of cool options you can do. Now, I didn't do anything. All I did was install it. Let's see if there's anything different about YouTube so far. So if you type in a search for like George Floyd again, now with we now now that we have uh, uBlock Origin, you're not, not going to notice a big difference. You're still going to get like ABC News, and then in, in which case you can just block it right here. New York Times, you can block the entire channel. ABC block all this block, and let's refresh and see what we get. But see, then we got all this crap. This crap called people also watched this is annoying stuff that also pops up from time to time and I've noticed that it's generally crap and all this stuff I don't want to see this plus five more shit I want to get rid of all this and I want real results there's a way to do that um, first we want to hit the little shield icon for uBlock origin the red shield then we want to hit the options which is right here or the dashboard little cog wheel then from here we're gonna to go to filter list okay now when you install uBlock Origin it's already a, um, subscribed to a few filter lists filter lists are basically just a collection of known privacy invading websites or ad pushing websites so it's generally a lot of good ones are already blocked by default but we can also block a lot more such as this little ads we can hit plus and then we can hit like you don't want to do all of them because it'll kind of mess up your browsing if you block too much you know you won't be able to see anything basically so we want to see stuff but we don't want to be harassed by um, ads and crap we don't want to see so this is a good way to kind of just a general overall protection in your browser so in privacy we can do the ad guard tracking protection malware domains um, I think that one's okay one of the more important ones is annoyances because I get really annoyed on the internet a lot of shit popping up in your face bugging you about stuff well I can subscribe to a few of these how about like um, fanboys annoyance is one of the best um, let's do you block filters annoyances okay all right so then after we're done checking a few more um, filters go ahead and just hit apply and it should take effect immediately let's see if we did anything for YouTube search nope I still got that people also watched and other annoying crap. Well, the great thing about uBlock Origin is when you go to that dashboard again on the right side, we can uh, add our own filters. And I have a few that you should probably use. And so you find this by going to My Filters, and that is in the dashboard for uBlock Origin. And we're just going to manually add a few, and I got them in a list here. Okay, so the first one blocks YouTube ads at the end of videos. Well, let's see what that looks like. Let's click one of these videos. Um, how about something like this? Does this have ads at the end of the video? No, not really. I want to find one that has like um, ads at the end of it. Maybe Telegram here, Will? Yep, okay. Do you see that when you're going towards the end of video? They have crap that pops up like this, that blocks the view of the video, which is really annoying. So we can get rid of that too. Oh, by the way, if you're good with just 
what I've shown so far, you don't have to keep watching. You can you can bail out now. What I'm showing you now is a little bit more advanced filtering to filter out annoying shit on the internet and YouTube in particular. So let's get rid of those end of the video blocks by copying this and I'm gonna paste it into the dashboard of uBlock Origin. I'm just gonna paste it, it looks like that. The exclamation point at the beginning um, just basically means that it's not an actual command it's or a filter it's just a like a note you want to give to yourself like you know here's what this does followed by the actual command here that's all it is I'm gonna hit apply then I'm gonna refresh this video and see if that disappears let's jump to the end again and it's gone I don't see it anymore it's nice and clear clear video with no molestation getting in your face isn't that great that's just one filter and we can keep going so I know a lot of people use the um, the home page of YouTube, just youtube.com right here to you know click recommendations and view other things and all that stuff. Well, I don't like to see this, me personally. I want it nice and clear because I only want to look at my subscriptions or look at my search results for stuff I'm interested in, not stuff being coerced for me to click. Please, Mr. Nerve Gorilla, click this. Yeah, check this out. You might be interested screw off I'll find my own stuff so that's this command right here clean YouTube homepage and I'll be um, posting this I think either in the description or I'll be um, posting in the comment uh, pinned comment on the video here so let's try that and let's refresh youtube.com and it's nice and gone clean crisp pure Fiji water I'm kidding all right I don't want to make this video too long but again you don't have to take my word for it. There's all sorts of things you can do. You can go to Google and search. How do I block this? How do I stop this? Stuff like that. And generally you'll find answers, especially with YouTube, uh, or I mean uBlock Origin. All right, so the sidebar. All right, so here that that is, see on the right side over here, there's all these more suggestions, more coercion by the YouTube company to get you to click other stuff. Some people might like that. I don't. I want that shit out of my life. So let's get rid of it right now with uBlock Origin, the best add-on for anything. One of the best things that humanity has given to humanity is uBlock Origin. Let's paste that one filter and hit apply. And now let's refresh it and they're all gone on the right side. Now you're just getting the video like it's supposed to be. So we're already made YouTube a thousand times better than it is by default. We've gotten rid of the stupid ads at the, the end so there's no accidentally clicking some stupid shit. We got rid of the stupid more further freaking coercion ads trying to, you know, video related videos trying to bug you. Um, there's also another thing that I find personally detestable. And that means when you do a Google, uh, YouTube search, let's type in George Floyd again, for example. And the first result we get is a short. I despise YouTube shorts. They're trying to turn YouTube into TikTok. So I want to get rid of that shit. How? In the command I just copied. And then I'm going to paste it here. Let's try it and see what happens if that video disappears at the top. Refresh. Oh, it's still there. Let's try something else. Oh, they, it, get, it got rid of the word. It didn't get rid of the video. Let's try this and see if this works. We've got a few filters here. All right, let's see. Apply and refresh. Nope, that's still there. But we got... I think we got rid of the related searches. Did you see that? That word related disappeared? Yeah. I don't see the related crap anymore. That's gone. See that? It's just videos. Pure videos. No stupid text to bug you. Hey, hey, would you be interested in this, bro? No, I'm not. Get out of my life. So that word that was like related down here and the plus five and all that shit, that's gone. Let's keep going. Um, disable animated YouTube thumbnails. So this is only search results right here. So I think if you, okay, you see how it's animated? See how it's moving and shit when you, how you put your mouse over it? I don't want that. Maybe you might want it, but I don't. So I'm going to add this filter and hit apply. And I'm going to hit refresh and see if that fixed it. Okay, it's not animating anymore. Do you see how you have the power over your internet experience? You really do have the power. It's not animating anymore. Good. I'm not sure. I don't think that works for the YouTube homepage. 
but it does work for that. There's another way to do it for the YouTube homepage if you have the videos on to stop it from zooming in and start playing like in a little, you know, a popped up window. You can disable that too. There's other ways to do that. I won't go into it now, but there is a way to do that. Um, mixes. Some people don't like mixes, you know, like music mixes from the, from, you know, the main page or other pages and stuff. You can also get rid of that with that. There's no harm done in doing these filters here and you can remove them anytime. So again, I have no, you know, actually, you know, I could remove the homepage thing and bring the videos back to the homepage like that and see if there's mixes. And there will, I don't think there will be if you're, cause I'm not logged in right now. So there, there probably won't be mixes if you're not logged in. But if you are logged in, which most people are, that should get rid of your mixes that sometimes are suggested to you. Um, this one removes YouTube music playlists from the right side panel. That's just another one. Um, there's all sorts of filters you can do, all sorts of cool shit. Now, let's say I want to get rid of the YouTube logo, okay, on the screen here. I'm just going to right click, and you'll have a new option if you installed uBlock Origin called Block Element. It's one of the coolest things about it. Go ahead and hit it. Now you can highlight any part of the page. Like, I can just block these thumbnails. I can block this logo right here. I can block any little thing I see on the freaking screen. Any word, sign in. I could get rid of the sign in button. So I'm gonna highlight the YouTube logo because I don't like it in my face, just as an example. And I'm gonna click it and then I'm gonna hit create. Let's get rid of this first. So there's nothing you gotta type here, nothing, no, nothing you have to do. Just hit create and it disappears. Now I refresh and it's gone. Let's see if it's gone off the search page. Yep, it's gone. So when you go to like CNN.com and you just wanna like get rid of stuff that's in your face, like I don't like that freaking live TV button up there or maybe the login button or maybe some bell that's you know highlighted red trying to bug me about shit. You can just right click block element and then again you can click it maybe i can click this whole bar i think you can get rid of the whole yep there i click in the whole bar let's get rid of the whole fucking bar okay if it didn't get rid of the bar we can try it again sometimes it'll work there it goes it's gone now cnn doesn't have that stupid bar at the top anymore you can modify it any way you want you can either click it with the block element or you can uh you know you can go Go to YouTube or go to Reddit or go to some forum and try to find out some more uh, filters for yourself. Anyway, that's just uh, a couple add-ons. There's all sorts of cool stuff you can do. Um, if there's any questions, you know, I'll try to help. But again, you guys have the power too. You can also search on the internet and find solutions for your issues. All right, that's going to be it. Thanks for watching. Don't like, don't subscribe, and get out of my life. Two. C'est une obligation.